Hello friends, this video on garbage in garbage out part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. This lesson. Now before that, what produces garbage? As I said, when you look at the causes or when you look at the sources from where garbage is being produced, you will see that it is mostly us who produce garbage. For example, we eat a banana while walking on the street. When we finish eating the banana, I do not say that all of us do this, but a lot of us throw the banana skin just there. They don't bother whether it is thrown into the dustbin or not. They just throw the banana skin wherever they are standing at that moment. So as a result, the banana skin is lying somewhere on the street or it's lying somewhere on the road. Now when somebody else walks on the road, he steps on the banana skin and falls down. That, that's a very common thing that happens. Now it is not only throwing that banana skin in the middle of the street not only increases the risk of somebody falling down, it also increases the risk of pollution. So when you are throwing the banana skin in the middle of the street, so that skin is going to get rotten after a couple of days. So it is going to smell badly. So, and everything is going to happen in the middle of the street where hundreds of people are walking, a lot of people, a lot of people have their shops there. So whenever they breathe in, they are actually breathing in uh, rotten air, which is no more fresh. But these kind of activities are very common with us. A lot of kids, just for their own joy, they keep sharpening their pencils. Now what happens when you sharpen your pencil? So these things come out of it, of the sharpener and they just love sharpening the pencil just for the fun of it. But they don't realize that all that you are doing out of your, just for your fun is you are adding to the garbage. Anyways, as we go ahead with the lesson, you will see that there is a lot of problem. There is a very big problem of how to handle the garbage in a better way so that we can keep our environment clean. And under that scenario, just for your fun, you are adding to that garbage. You are unnecessarily increasing the amount of garbage. And this is also done by people like us. We keep throwing wastes anywhere we like. Many a times we just have pieces of paper or we have wrappers. We buy chips, we open tear the wrapper, we eat the chips inside it and then we throw the wrapper anywhere. So when we do that, we are producing garbage. So basically when you look at this picture, you see that most of the garbage, in fact all of the garbage is being produced by us. Now this garbage can actually have anything starting from toys to rotten food, vegetable waste. When you peel the vegetables, the uh, skin of the vegetables, we do not eat them. So they are all thrown as garbage broken glass, sanitary wastes, plastics, paper wastes, old clothes, electronic wastes like a broken computer or a broken mobile phone. So a lot of electronic goods are present in our houses these days. So when they stop working, we do not need them anymore. So let's say we repaired it once or twice. After that, when the uh, repair shop people sh says that it's going to cost a lot to get it repaired, we just throw it. So that way we have many different types of wastes in our houses and all of them contribute to the garbage. So the, this garbage actually comes from different places. It could be domestic wastes which is coming from our kitchen, mostly vegetable wastes, sewage, the bathroom wastes or unnecessary things like paper or unused pens, things like that. Industrial wastes would be coming out of the industries and factories like smoke, ashes, coal, paper, rubber wastes and in, in fact in some of the industries the wastes that come out they are you know, of toxic nature. They can be very poisonous materials as well because a lot of chemical a lot of chemicals are also involved in the industries and factories. So those kind of wastes which contain chemicals we might not know but they might be extremely poisonous. Community waste which comes from public places like hospitals, offices, shops. Again, hospitals might have a lot of waste with chemicals because hospitals deal with injections, syringes, etc. 
agricultural waste which mostly would include husk straw fibers so most of the plant products would be part of agricultural wastes electronic wastes could be broken computers and or electronic goods so i mean garbage actually comes from many different sources but everywhere human beings are involved behind producing garbage thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again